Hello everyone. So welcome to the next um, component, which is model training. For model training, there are two TFS components that are normally used. So the tuner and then the trainer. And then as the name suggests, the tuner is used to um, tune hyperparameters. So what is the most appropriate learning rate? Or how many um, layer should we have in our network or how many neurons should we have in each layer things like that and the trainer contains the train function for this example that we are looking at we would not be using the tuner when we get to building um, pipelines in the cloud we would use tuner um, for now we we'll just cons consider um, focus on using the trainer um, component so um, there is um, some documentation if you want to read about the trainer component and what it takes as input and um, what it emits as output and how you can configure it. So I encourage you to look at this um, documentation. So this trainer function, so before we um, start writing, there are a couple of things that we want to consider for the trainer function. So the, the, the trainer component. So there are a lot of functions that I will be writing for the trainer component. So the first one is a, a gzip reader function. So this function would take the um, compressed TF records and read it. And then the, we will have another function which is the input function. So the input function will create batches of the training um, data so which is necessary because you want to create um, batches of your training data um, so the batches will be created in such a way that as the model is training um, some processes will also be running creating batches at the same time so it wouldn't be that the model will be training and then after after um, finishing an epoch it has to wait for a function though so those two will be working um, asynchronously so as the model is um, training then there is also another process somewhere which is batching data so the data is always available to the um, the model as it trains and then we have a function which is the model builder so this contains um, our neural network code and then we have another function which is the run function that will call the model builder and then run the function and then we have another one which is the get serve tf examples function so after you finish um, building your model and running it obviously you would like to use it for inference um, so um, the, the reason why I like using um, TensorFlow and then the TFX components is that you don't really have to worry so much about performing um, lots of transformations when you want to use your model for inference. So you can save all your transformations as a graph. So all the transformations that we did in our transform function, for example, um, changing all the strings to lower and then um, removing all these um, um, unnecessary words and characters. If I want to use the model for inference, I don't have to write all this code again. All this code can be saved as a transformation graph. And then um, when I want to use it as inference, um, yeah, I just write a function that will call that transformation and then the transformation will be done for me. right? So that makes it um, easy to use your safe model for transformation and um, yeah so um, we would start um, writing um, our code now and as we go along I will explain other stuff so just keep watching <laughs> 